What's good, TSG? It's your boy Immortality here, and before I even get into this controversial topic, let me start off by thanking Thunder for uploading this video, because to be honest, guys, now this is 100% true, there is really no other community channel on YouTube at all that uploads commentaries. They're all sniper community channels, and community channels with trick shotters, and community channels with trolling, but none of them do commentaries. So, Gotta give Thunder mad, mad, mad props for making this because he's honestly helped a lot of people out. Now, about the topic. Most people are gonna see this and be like, Man, we already know what this boy Immortality gonna be talking about. He gonna be talking about the KSJ. He gonna be talking about the Remington. He gonna be talking about that darn damn SVU. No, I'm not gonna be talking about those guns. Although, I absolutely go to the dashboard every time I get killed by a KSG. I know it's in the game and it ain't leaving. But what I am going to be talking about is what Call of Duty can do to Black Ops 2. Now, Black Ops 2, let's be honest, it's kind of dead already, okay? They're not, it's not dead with players, but it's just, it's a lost ship, you know? They're not going to fix anything on the game because they don't give a rat's ass. They're just waiting for the new Call of Duty to come out. But for this new Call of Duty, what can they do to improve this game? First off, aim assist needs to go, all right? Aim assist makes the skill gap between super good players and super bad players just about even all right you can sit in the corner with a target finder lmg or just an lmg in general and you don't even have to be looking at the screen when someone runs by it just locks on you just hold the trigger down eventually i guarantee if you do this you will probably get a kill you just hold the trigger down turn your tv off and try it guys just turn the tv off when the game starts put an lmg on hold the trigger down and just walk around the map you can't see your tv your tv is off right so you're not looking around and just walk around the map someone's gonna run they're gonna see your red dot they're gonna run past you, aim assist locks on, and they're gonna die. And you're gonna get one kill. You'll probably go one in 50, but hey, you got one kill due to the aim assist. That thing needs to go. It's really annoying, and just like, overall, it makes the skill of Call of Duty just basically non-existence. The shooting and aiming skill isn't there because they got aim assist in the game. It does all the work for you. And you got this guy, Vondahar, man. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not gonna try to trash on him, but, you know, he's a bit moronic from time to time, and he's talking about gun-on-gun -gun skill. How is it gun-on-gun -gun skill when the game does all the work for you? It aims for you. What do you need gun-on-gun -gun skill for? You don't need any aiming skill whatsoever. You just need positioning skill. If you know the maps and you know where to position yourself or you're running with a good squad, that's all you got to do to play Call of Duty. Or you're camping. Either one. All right, now let's talk about the gun types. All right, for instance, they keep making this game, right? The SMG LMG AR. All right, so you got the assault rifles, SMGs, and the LMGs. I hate how they all have different balances. Now, I know that's supposed to be there, but honestly, like, if you run around with an SMG, you get smacked far range by campers. If you run around with an AR or an LMG, you can hardly move. That is annoying. I know in World at War, there was hardly any ARs. It was just SMG versus SMG the entire time, or maybe Sniper versus SMG. That was honestly better. I think they need to weaken the ARs, like, drastically, because I'm sick of people running around with assault rifles, or even camping with assault rifles, and picking me off long range because I have an SMG. But that's not even a serious problem. I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is SMGs that fire the speed of light, all right? So you got an SMG like the Scorpion. Insanely fast. This gun is insanely fast. It shoots just about the speed of light. But that wasn't good enough for Treyarch. They were like, look, this gun, we're going to make it shoot about a trillion bullets a second, but let's add an attachment to the gun which allows it to shoot a zillion bullets a second <laughs> yeah so they add rapid fire to the gun right and now the gun literally shoots like a laser beam so if you walk in front of that while someone's got rapid fire and they're holding the trigger down you are dead guaranteed this gun shoots so fast it is unbelievable i just i can't comprehend why it is in the game these guns like the scorpion need to go another gun that needs to go is like guns like the fal Alright, so you got the FAL. I know a lot of people like to use this gun. But, you're just asking people to go out and buy turbo controllers. If you have a turbo controller, you don't need the rapid fire attachment because the controller does all the work for you. You just hold the trigger down and it's fully automatic. And it shoots faster than the automatic fire, select fire anyway. So you don't even need that. And I don't know why they keep adding these guns to the game. They add all the guns that are semi-automatic to the game. Like, for instance, the Remington with... Remington's not semi-automatic, but they added the Remington... And then they allowed you to do that glitch. And the glitch was where you could just keep pumping it over and over again. And you never had to reload. So you would see people running around doing this glitch, pumping people. And the Remington was basically fully automatic. Now, they add stuff like that to the game. And then people will go out and abuse it because they have turbo controllers. 
every Call of Duty they add something like this. Like FAL in Modern Warfare 2, people used to turbo the hell out of that thing. I don't know if any of you guys ever ran into people, but they would just completely turbo the hell out of the FAL in Modern Warfare 2. Then they bring it back for this game. Why? People do the same thing on this one. You don't need the rapid fire attachment, or I'm sorry, you don't need the select fire if you got a turbo controller, because the turbo controller is basically a select fire, so you don't need none of that. And I just don't understand why it's in the game. They keep adding these semi-automatic guns. Just make them fully automatic from the get-go. That way people don't have to go out and buy controllers to cheat like everybody does on this game. Next thing we gotta talk about is the killstreaks. I am so, so sick of using dogs and gunships. And the only new thing in this game that is interesting is the swarm. And the swarm is alright. I guess it was creative. I'll give them props on that. They added one thing that was kind of creative. But to be honest, I want to see stuff that is just crazy in Call of Duty. The reason I play this game is for the killstreaks, alright? If I didn't play it for the killstreaks, I'd be on Battlefield. Because I like Battlefield better than Call of Duty. But when I play Call of Duty, I like it because it has killstreaks in it. It's fun to go around and get the killstreaks. That's what I like to do. That's the whole reason I play this game is for the killstreaks. And they need to add, I was always a big fan of this, advocating this, customizable killstreaks. And what I mean by that is not like how they have it now where you can pick like a Vito Warship or a Swarm, stuff like that. No, I mean like, let's say you put a Vito Warship on, you can customize what your Vito Warship has on it. So we're talking like, you could put certain different types of cannons on it, certain different types of rounds on it, you know, stuff to customize the killstreaks even farther than they already have it. Or let's say you get a sentry gun. You can put like explosive rounds on it. I know that would get annoying, but explosive rounds on it. Or maybe two sentry gun, like two heads to it, two turrets on it. I just think something different, something better. You know, something that customizes the game even farther. I would honestly, I wouldn't even care if they added Godzilla as a kill streak, alright? So you know, you're doing your thing. You get 25 kills in a row. Instead of calling in a nuke, you call in Godzilla and he wrecks havoc on the enemy team. I think that would be fun. But let's be honest, guys, alright? For the new Call of Duty, here's what you're going to see. You're not going to see any of the things I talked in the video. Aim assist will probably be auto-aim in the new Call of Duty. The guns will legitimately shoot laser beams. Um, they'll have kill streaks that are boring again. But here's what you will see. This is basically a guarantee for the new Call of Duty. You're going to see target finder pistols, javelins with nuclear warheads on the end of them, rapid fire bazookas. That's got to be in the game. though. <laughs> bazookas just aren't overpowered enough. They need to have rapid fire on them. Fully automatic ballistic nice. Wow, that would be something. You'll probably also see ninja stars in the game. I think that'll be a nice addition to Call of Duty. And my favorite one of all time. This is basically guaranteed to go in the game. It has to. Akimbo LMGs. Alright, so you got Akimbo LMGs and we'll put target finders on them too. That'll make it even better. So that's what you guys can expect from the new Call of Duty because it's almost guaranteed to be a piece of dog shit just like this game. But if you guys have any thoughts about what I said to fix Call of Duty, please comment below. I honestly want to know, what do you guys think? Do you guys use aim assist? Do you not use aim assist? Do you guys use these fast guns? Would you want the guns to shoot slower? And what do you think of the kill streaks? Because my main concern is these kill streaks getting super boring. Like, if I could call in an alien swarm, hell, I would play Call of Duty all day, every day. That would be something fun for me. It would, I wouldn't get bored near as fast, but it's just not fun calling in the swarm anymore. So that's all I got for this commentary, guys. Big props to Thunder for uploading this, and I'm out, guys. Peace.